What's going on, No Nation? It's CJ Wilson here to give you another quick here in regards to recruiting. Before we get started, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the channel. It does a world of favors for us. It doesn't take nothing but a second of your time, so go ahead and hit that like button right there at the bottom. The last couple of weeks, right, has been uh, nothing but nothing but surprises in regards to the recruiting uh, ranks for FSU held good and bad when you have the decommitment of uh, Roger, Roger Kearney. But um, a lot more positive than bad in regards to that because we have another surprise visitor uh, per no game day. Five-star cornerback Desmond Ritz will be on campus for the Georgia Tech game. So shout out to no game day for breaking that news. Yeah, this is huge news. Uh, Desmond Ritz recently just announced that he's going to reclassify from the 2024 class to the 2023 class. Uh, Five-star cornerback. In, if he'll stay in 24 and 23, it doesn't matter. He is what he is. He's, he's that good. He's currently ranked as the second best cornerback in the country, right behind Kamarni uh, McClain uh, for the 2023 class and number 15 overall for the two, for the two, excuse me, for 247 uh, recruiting rankings. So this is a big get nonetheless. And let's back up a little bit because if you guys remember around the springtime, um, there was a lot of smoke that, well, that Desmond Ricks was, the FSU was the leader for Desmond Ricks and he was going to commit around that time. Um, then things kind of got weird in regards to commu commu communication. He 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 put out a tweet saying that FSU staff hasn't been reaching out to him and things like that. So things got kind of weird with that. So let's kind of clarify that a little bit. But um, but back then FSU was the leader. He did, he did say that FSU was his dream school. You know, looks up to Jalen Ramsey and things like that. Wanted to play at FSU. Everything was uh, going well with his recruitment at that point in time. I'm not sure what happened in between. But um, with the 2024 recruits, there's only so much contact that the staff can do on their own at that point in time during the process. They couldn't just reach out and call um, Desmond Ricks on their own. So um, that contact had to be, I guess you could say, reciprocated in regards to Ricks reaching out to FSU and things like that. They can't reach out via phone call at that point in time for the, for the 2024 recruits. I still think FSU was reaching out um, doing their due diligence in the recruitment, but maybe just not to the liking in which Rick's thought it should have been. And they probably tailed off um, between the spring game and in, in, in that time frame. I'm not going to say it did, and I'm 100% sure it probably did. For whatever reasons, I'm not exactly sure what why, why that transpired, but I know for a fact that the 2024 class, you can only do so much contact as far as the uh, staff themselves reaching out. But nonetheless, we're right here. I know at one point in time, there was a lot of smoke with, with Florida, Alabama, and things like that. So shout out to the staff for staying consistent with that recruitment. Uh, Marcus Woodson and things like that in regards to, hell, being in a position to land a player like Desmond Riggs to even get him on campus for a visit. So we'll see how this, things go, this, this thing goes. It's going to be pretty interesting down the stretch with signing day being in December, and we're here in October. So it's going to be interesting. Well, it's going to be an interesting couple of months for Desmond Riggs to, to try to navigate that process and, and uh, nail down official visits and things like that to go ahead and make his commitment for the um, 2023 recruiting class. As far as a player, he, he is himself is he's, he's that good. I mean, he's the sky's the limit for Desmond Riggs. I mean, the kid can do it all from a size at, from a size standpoint has pretty good size around six, one long arms. I was talking to Bud Elliott at the uh, FSU spring game for a matter of fact, and, and he had high, high uh, praise for for Desmond Riggs. He thought back then that he would jump into the 2023 uh, recruiting ranks, um, you know, jump up a class. It just happened here in October. But back then, Bud Elliott was saying that that, that was possible it would happen. And he had really high praise for him. You know, when, when Bud gives out praise, it's, it's something you should listen to because he doesn't give it out too often, right? So um, he he thought Desmond Riggs was in the Jalen Ramsey mode in regards to athleticism type of cornerback he could be. This is a real shutdown corner, number one cornerback in, in the recruit on, on your annual recruiting class. Um, so yeah, but I think excuse me, Bud thought he was a pretty good player. I think he could be an elite player on the college level. So this is a really good get for FSU in regard in regards to setting up the uh, visit. We'll see how things play out uh, down the stretch. If we get him back on campus for an official visit, it'd be pretty interesting to see you know what FSU could do in regards to the race to December to get his signing. So pretty good, pretty good stuff coming out of FSU in regards to the recruiting department. Hope they can keep it up. Let's keep this thing going. It's going to be a really good weekend for Georgia Tech, right? So it's crazy. We got Desmond Ricks on campus, and we also have Cedric Baxter, you know, the, um, number two running back in the per 247 uh, ranks, four-star, five-star, depending on the services you look at. But big-time prospect out of the Orlando Edgewater. We're going to have him on campus and also five-star receiver commit Hakeem Williams. So it's going to be a star-studded event in Tallahassee this upcoming weekend. And like I said in my previous video, it's family homecoming, right? So 
Let's um let's make sure these guys have a good time in Tallahassee. Again, no nation, make sure you guys like and subscribe, like to this video rather than subscribe to the channel. We're gonna have more of these coming out if um uh, FSU keep bringing out the good news, right? So hopefully the visit goes well with Desmond Ricks. We'll see how these things plays out going forward. Go nose, and it's the roll up network.